When we last left off, warning, our hull is down to 50%. But other than that, everything is good. We have an alien mutant Lana G. Although, we need to rename her, actually, if we can. Not sure we can. Eh. No, all I can do is dismiss her, so that's fine. And also, each of these are actually up one clone, because... Meh. So, everything here looks okay. We have enough scrap metal to upgrade something. Uh, we could go with that. Could improve our engine drive, could improve our shield, definitely. Medbay upgrades faster healing speed. I think we need door upgrades, actually. So now that we have blast doors. So now they will help impede um, movement of fires, which seems to be an important thing to do at this stage. Let's also disable that. And now let's go to jump. So there's a distress beacon coming from over there. We being nice citizens of Alpha Complex for a change, and also noting the impending wrath of um, this wave of rebels, we need to move as far as possible, as quickly as possible. So we go that way. We arrive at the beacon and immediately detect a pirate ship. It seems this distress beacon was a trap set by commies. Ah, uh, darn you and your traps. But we're on to your games. We're taking out your weapon systems now. Begin auto fire. Fire at will. Ah, darn it. Our shields haven't hold, held and arg. Fix the oxygen. That is more important than you know. More oxygen. Shields back up. Excellent. Okay, I think we knocked out their um, weapon systems, so let's go for the shields next. Thankfully, they only have class 1 shields, so our burst laser can get through it. Okay, so one fuel, two missiles, and eight scrap. You know what? I'm going to accept that surrender. So, jump. So that was the distress beacon, but it's fake. I guess we should move to move to where we need to get to. Where are we then? Ship refueling station is setting this beacon. We can buy fuel for scrap. So let's buy free fuel for six scrap. Right, there's a distress beacon if we head backwards, but that's going to cause us some problems. So I suggest legging it. You've arrived at the long range beacon. When the F2 drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. You spot a small rebel ship nearby. It seems to have been refitted for transport rather than combat. It doesn't seem to want to engage you and your ship. Demand their surrender! You prepare to secure the cargo by force. They look like they don't want to fight, they're trying to escape. Oh, we're not having you escape. We're nuking your engines as fast as we can. Auto fire engaged. Don't let them get away. They have weapons, clearly. They've just fired back at us. They've missed, though. Ooh. Right, engines down. Right, next we're taking on their weapons. Shields down. Good work. Good work, Mr. Compute. Right. Now those are gone as well. Let's take them out. Pilot. I stop them completely from moving. They do appear to want to try and repair things, so... Alright, disengage that. They now have no ability to move, and boom! Search the remains of a ship, but only come across blueprints and debris from broken machinery. A shame, but you take what scrap you can salvage, which is free one and nine. We are sh very short on missiles now, which might be a bit of a problem. Um, we could have a go at upgrading our our drive. Oh well, next sector. So two hostile sectors. Rebel or pirate? Rebel or pirate? Well, 
looking at this whichever way we go, that way's quickest. But there is also the pirate sector. So we're gonna go there. We have one missile left, so we need to kind of upgrade that. Once Federation forces were scattered, the rebel came down hard on the locals here. Between the tax collectors and the military bases, their all presence in the sector is high. Ah, oh, there's a nebula here. Fleet pursuits slower, but will disrupt sensors. Let's go. Advanced Rebel Automated Ship remains stationed near a Rebel Space Station. However, without functioning sensors, it's impossible to tell what's inside. Let's attack. Right. First laser, take out its weapons. We're going to fire our last missile as well to take out their weapons. Go! Actually, we don't need to worry about that. No, it doesn't have shields. Ah! Fix the oxygen! Also, go and fix the engines. Darkwin, you too. Right. Those are knocked out, so now we just go and take out his engines. Which good work. Actually, you should stay around there, Lena. There's a green clearance system, and you're doing quite well. Right, finally, burst lasers to the pilots. I know, Sarko, you did recommend you wanted to be, um,. Engineering, but actually, I think having you in medical seems to be a better idea. Investigate the station. Ooh! Storage site for military grade weapons. You find one that can be easily be attached to a ship, the Heavy Ion. Right, so. Let us equip that then. Right, how many does it need? Required power two. So, what we need to do is upgrade. Our weapon control and an extra power bar. So now we can have both the heavy ion and the burst laser both equipped. Excellent. Our hull damage though is quite bad. We need to get somewhere safe quite quickly. We know nothing but that is quicker to the exit so let's go that way. Your sensors are picking up the distress call in an encrypted Federation channel. You eventually find a Federation scout being chased by a rebel fighter. Aid the Federation ship! Right. Weapons. Oxygen. Go. We must aid our allies. Come on. Oh, darn it. Hold critical. Oh, no, that's going to be important. If we don't get that fixed up, we're dead anyway. Right, Lena, get there and help. Right, their oxygen's finished. Get those weapons taken out. Right. Lena, compute, get to there. Tarquin, engineering. Right, their weapons are gone, but they've managed to get their oxygen back online. Heavy ion can fire at that then. Burst laser, keep firing at shields. Alright, come on. Right, you're back. Secure that. Get back to shield control. Right, their shields are gone. Our cull is critical. Done it. Stop getting your oxygen back online. But more to the point, stop getting your weapons back online. Come on. Oxygen 96%, 97. They're almost down. Come on, we'll do it. Got it. With the ship destroyed, you quickly collect the useful resources. Free fuel, two missiles, 21 scrap. Contact the Federation ship. Virtual destruction and life signs are fading quickly. Try to rescue the crew. 
Soul Survivor offers to join your crew and helps you strip the now derelict ship for useful components. We have a fifth member of the team, Main. So, uh, what is... You seem to be another one of that type, so you're a fast engineer type person. So you can be on weapons duty. You can head back to there. It's not killing you, is it? That should be slowly fixing things. Oh, you can have on the engines. They're the most important, vital thing we've got. So, hull is critical. But overall, we're looking quite good here. Uh, let's see. We could have the shield strength, but that's not going to be by enough. Uproot medbay. Uh, information about enemy ships. Or we can save it. I think we might need to save it. All of these are uncharted, of course, but... Let's go directly for it. What's the worst that's going to happen? Ah, oh, damn it. It's another scout. Let's avoid provoking it. Our hull is too critical to worry about that, and the rebels are now visible. Right at the long range beacon. Uh, debris from a long forgotten battle still orbits the gas giant. In the system, some of it might still be useful. Two missiles, one drone part, and 16 scout. Um, 16 scrap. So on to the next sector, and we're going to a civilian sector, I think. So, huzzah, part three. On the new sector. Get to the exit beacon and not the next sector before the pursuing rebels catch you. Right, it looks like we've only got one direction to go, and also nebula, nebula, nebula. But it does will make the fleet pursuit slower. What we really need to do is find a merchant or someone who can repair our ship. It's the space station with heavy damage. You receive a message. We need harbor the wall. We need more drone parts to speed up our repairs. We'll buy some for you if you have extra. And oh, we don't have enough drone parts. Oh dear. What's more likely to have? friendly um, things. Let's go there. Heavily damaged Federation ship is hiding in the nebula at this beacon. Before you have time to contact them, they fade into the nebula. Attempt to follow and help. If you get lucky and find them floating not too deep in the nebula, thrilled to be found by friendlies, they come on board and abandon their wrecked ship. Williams R ah, has joined us. We now have six crew members. So, you can, um, I suppose co-pilot, or we could have Tarquin, wherever he's got to. Tarquin, get back into medical. You, um, I guess assist with piloting. I don't see any, I suppose get back there and work on engines or weapons. Nah, everything is good. So, jump. We have another nebula system. I think we'll go there. Oh dear. Lightning storm. You join the middle of a plasma storm. Multiple recently incapacitated ships loom in the shadows, briefly limited by lightning. Let's search for survivors and equipment. Despite your caution, lack of detection equipment allows debris to crash into your ship, damaging the hull. Salvage what you can and prepare to jump before anything worse happens. Let's get Oh, dang it. We've got one hit point left. Well, I think this is going to be the end of our mission now. So determined the fact they don't see if you're hostile before fighting. Um. Move to the shields. Move to the engines. Get us out of here. Oh, darn it, they're going to try and board us as well, aren't they? Intruders detected. Computer and Tarquin find the communist traitors. Oh, darn it, I see where they've got to. They're trying to take out our doors. Come on. Probably no point in taking out the teleporters anymore, but... Ah! Bugs! Bugs and things! 
No! You blew it up! It was your own ship! Your own teammate said you blew it up. One last explosion marks your fate as your ship is torn apart. Main menu! We need a new game. So, next time, more faster than light. Until then.